what's up guys welcome to my youtube channel at uh, the foreigner i'm actually a foreigner from east africa recording from south africa eastern cape uh today it's a beautiful sunday and uh i have decided to go to church after a long time not going to church so i'm also doing the same thing to record so come with me on this sunday vlog let's go see what the sermon is about and how it feels to go to church in south africa yeah it's a little bit sunny but at the same time it's hot it's, it's cold because it's winter season it has to be cold yeah that's why i'm, I'm dressed like this with a jacket but anyhow come with me let's go to church together let's see what church is about or what church is like in South Africa uh, remember we're recording from Eastern Cape so if it's your first time watching this vlog please make it a point guys this church I'm going to is actually not far away from another church as you can see there's, there's another church here but this is a Catholic church uh, the one I'm going to is a uh, born again Christian church. So this is uh, St. Patrick's Catholic Church uh, in North End. Actually, it, you can you can say it's seed number, also North End because where Spa is, if you can see there, that's Spa, that's North End. So this is pretty much either North End or or seed number. Yeah. So. We're potentially not going to this church but the other church so come with me hello so come with me as we go to church. Good church today you guys it's been a long time it's probably a year since i i last went to church yeah i don't know what to think yeah but it is what it is uh guys remember you're watching the foreigner youtube channel yeah the youtube channel it's called the foreigner because i'm a foreigner uh, i embraced and took this name uh after uh, south africa so guys come with me let's go to church uh i don't know what to think man it's been a long time since i last came to church i think even the guys forgot me they no longer they can no longer recognize me let's see let's see how it's gonna be i hope to have a little bit of an interview yeah if you can see there guys that's spa spa shopping center or whatever spa yeah yeah, yeah. it's a store it sells stuff anything you want like food uh, uh anything you use at home yeah, yeah anything anything you would want to use at home spa has got you so come with me guys let's go to church let's go to church let's go talk to the creator and ask him for more life for more subscribers protection for our parents ourselves our friends hola hola how are you so let's let's first go to church yeah <laughs> guy calls me father imagine at my age being called father by someone who looks older than me but anyhow guys this is south africa eastern cape uh this is north end now i can uh authoritatively tell you this is north end you can see how cool the streets look uh yeah we're not far away from the stadium we're not far away from the from the shops uh now we're close to the church or we already at church so come with me let's go worship let's go tell god our issues and maybe we expect for a better week because hopefully it's gonna be a good one so guys this is this is the church as you can read and tell the poeta's house christian fellowship church uh where jesus is still changing lives yeah i hope my life will be changed of course not right now but i hope it's gonna be changed because i already think Ever since I came here, it's changed. Uh, Sunday school, ages, it's 10, morning Sunday, yo. 
service is at uh, 11, I thought it's, it's half past 10, okay. Evening service is 6, Wednesday 7, Friday home Bible, additional club, eternity, music and drama, uh, worship fellowship. So guys, if you didn't know about church in South Africa, they can also go to picnic, they can also uh, go like on outings as a church. That's how fun South African churches can really be. They can really be. They can have drama, drama shows, but that, that, that are, are Christian driven or oriented. So that's pretty much about South Africa and churches and fellowship. So yeah, man, I don't know. My schedule is, is going to be compromised because I thought by half 12 I'll be out. But uh, realizing service starts at 11 feels like i'll be here till one uh well i would think it's worth it yeah let's go and see some things last forever yeah i believe so i believe so too like my legacy of of the foreigner youtube channel i think it's gonna last forever if god gives me life and I happen to have kids Maybe they'll carry on my legacy. Oh, my wifey. Let's see. Let's see how far this is going to go. But I know for sure some things last forever. Yeah. Like God's love for us is forever. It's not for a small time. So, guys, uh, come with me. I think it's, uh, the church is still closed. But um, regardless, we do what you know how to do you see guys how i'm dressed because it's really cold it's really really cold so come come with me let's go to let's go to church the porter's house if you've ever been to uh johannesburg if you know melville or oakland park there's also the same church as this uh porter's house melville uh, so yes, well guys we from uh, the church service i wasn't uh, allowed to record it so i got these pictures from my previous church melville in johannesburg as you can see there's pastor and botha there's pictures of us on a on a picnic we used to go for a picnic it is a really fun church you don't only learn about god but also learn about family and togetherness and and fun yeah so that's how good potter's house is So they are praying love to spare us. The only thing which can help us to touch you, control, pass, move. Because they are old. Don't allow to go them in physical contact. Because they are praying stupid. They are playing a physical game, but they want to injure us. So now let's control, pass, and move. We have to be quick in the middle field. At the same time, we have to be quick in the defense. You see, we were supposed to be punished them. We go to the same place. Because he was played, these people they are senior players, and it's like mistake. They will punish us. They have been playing for national team. These people, so we have to be faster. Let's put the ball forward. Then we use our pace. Because our we have, is but, yeah, no, we use our pace. All our forward they have pace. So let's use that pace. We must not tick tack in the midfield. No, two touches. Understand? Get me? I'm not amazing today. I don't know where he's sleeping. Two down, two down, two down. Yes. So now, and the Pesci also, I tell you, I think he was together with Pesci. He was two down. He was two down. He was two down. He was the one I know. Pesci, we are going to win. We need to win these guys. The only the strategy they are using, we, they knew you were young. You, you don't sacrifice yourself, so they come in, they are playing back. The strategy you have to do is to touch you. Control pass. Yeah. Control pass. Yeah. Yeah. Because you are capable of doing that. Don't overcome the ball. Another thing, our strikers, we have to convert every chance. Remember last weekend we lost the game because we lost like five chances. Then the, in the forward, we used to try to move. Pass, control. But that goal, that I don't know. But it was a goal that way. 
We need to No, we don't need goals for TV now. We need a goal. <laughs> Any chance you have, we need to convert it. So we're gonna do two changes for now. First, we're gonna give. Uh, Bobby, can you hold for me like this? Right. Okay. Cross, you're gonna give. Thank you. Sipo. <laughs> for now. Because you are coming from India. Sipo, thank you. You are going inside. Uh, Kante, I mean, uh, give this one. Give him. <coughs> Papi, how do you feel about the game? It's still great, ne? I like your physique and how fast you are, man. The yeah, ne? Yeah, good job, good job, brother. Sure, 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 sure. That's Mbappe, <laughs> Team Uganda. They're having a friendly match with uh, Cameroon. Yeah, but the weather is not as good as it should really be. That shot number 14 is Mbappe. Uh, let me just show you a little bit about this. It's Njako group of companies <laughs> invest in your future with us. Yeah. So guys, this is Team Uganda. Let me just show <coughs> more about what they are doing. Just the warm-up session before they head to second half. And first half was one, one, one zero in favor of Team Uganda. Remember, they're playing against uh, Cameroon for a friendly match. But these guys play it as if it's a final. It's an intense match. Hope you like and enjoy the game. I hope to also talk to the coach, Team Uganda Cranes, PE chapter or South African chapter from PE. Yeah. The guys really look young, but they play a mature type of game. They play a mature type of game. I hope to show you how the match is gonna be like for second half. Abdul! Uh, yeah, well, how's it? Later in the day after the service and stuff, I had to go to uh, St. George's Park to watch this match that was between Uganda and Cameroon. And luckily, Uganda won by four goals to zero. Four goals to zero. So it was an amazing day, amazing evening. Yeah, that's how Gande was like. I enjoy this match. I enjoy seeing my boys winning. It was just a friendly match of foreigners in South Africa. So guys, get to the channel. Boom, boom, boom. Nobody <laughs> 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 Ugandan team is having a penalt kick. Hope he converts it. Goal number two for Uganda. Now it's 2 0. I know 
Welcome guys to the YouTube channel The Foreigner. It's a beautiful Sunday and today we're having a day out with the Ugandan team playing. Uh, other teams, foreign teams, uh, as you can see from the background. What are you going to do with the one? Hey, 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 and I need to know uh, how far they've gone and everything about it. Oh, my brother, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Uh, so introduce yourself uh, to the audience and tell them what you're having today. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Globe White, my name is uh, Super Akim, a captain in Uganda Football Club. Uh, and uh, we have two teams. One is Uganda Football Club, another one is Mandela. The Ugandan one is uh, over 35 years. Then Mandela is those youngsters. So, so far today we had two games. One game is finished already. It was the Mandela Stars versus Cameroon. It was a three. Four, three nil. Actually four. It was four. Four nil. Yeah. Then this one's still going on. It is still uh, one goal. Somalia, Uganda zero. But I know at the end of the game, we're going to win. Yeah, thank you. Thank you very much, our big man, our Captain Akim. So you said uh, there's Mandela team and which other team? Uganda. Yeah, there's Mandela team, which is also a Ugandan team, but for our uh, elders or some, those that are over, over 30 years. Over 35 years. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, Akim, as, as the captain of Ugandan team, mm -hmm. what are some of the challenges you have faced as the captain? Yeah, so far, the captain, the challenges are a lot. As you know, sports, but we are trying to gather here and there. Some of the challenges we are facing, it is uh, some facilities because we have two teams, so we would like if everyone who is there watching the Foreigner channel, if you can assist us with some support, yeah. because here we promote talent. That's why we created another side wing of Mandela to welcome more talent so that we can avoid a drug abuse from the what? From the youth. From the youth. Yeah. So, the challenge we still need more facilities. There are many companies here in South Africa like Aspin, VW, and more others. If yeah. they can be able to assist us, like example, soccer jazz, uh, cones, uh, balls, transport. a lot of uh, transport, a lot of things like we need. Anything someone can afford. Yeah. Also physically, like someone to come and support when we are playing. Yeah. It's also giving more. Uh, yeah, thank you very much, uh, Captain uh, Captain Akim. Uh, one thing I'd like you, uh, I'd like to tell the viewers out there: uh, how far, how long have you played for this tournament? How, have you, how, how long have you been the captain for this, this team? Yeah, I've been a captain for this uh, like more than more than three years. Okay, okay. more than three years. Okay. We're still building up slowly here and there. Yeah, yeah, like three years I've been captain for the team. All right, all right. Uh, so, any other further tournament or little tournaments coming up very soon? Yeah, actually, um, on 13th, we have a tournament in Cape Town. Yeah. We're going to travel there. Uh, there are going to be more than 12 teams. Yeah. Also, next month, we have a big tournament yeah. here at St. George's Stadium. Yeah. Everyone knows about it. Yeah, actually, guys, here in Port Elizabeth. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a tournament. It's called the Africa Cup of Nationals. Those one, Amphape, those teams which are located in Port Elizabeth, yeah. all of the foreign countries, like not only foreign countries, all of the countries like uh, Uganda, South Africa, all of the countries. Yeah. Guys, it's amazing. It's beautiful. If you get chance, just come and watch. You have a look. You're gonna see how the Africa unite. Yeah. 
yeah. through sports. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Kim. And may God bless you. So, guys, if you're watching this channel, remember to check out the previous tournament of Anfape where Uganda was playing Cameroon. There's, there's more coming about volleyball, about football, about netball with foreigners. Thank you, guys. Boom. So, this is the <coughs> Ugandan team. Uh, going home right now. Actually, it's a, it's a team of, of two. It comprises of two, of two teams, Mandela and the other one that is called Uganda. So it's the Ugandan team of over 35 uh, and also the other young team that is below 30. You see them guys. Actually, this picture is this footage is recorded with an iPhone. You can tell. On this other side is is the team playing. The one, the ones with green is Nigeria. There's another one.